Hello everybody, it is a lovely January afternoon and I hope you are having a good day where you are at as well. Today I've cleared out the southwest portion of my island again so I could play around with uh, another landscape. Today, uh, because again it's all snowy still, I decided to pick out a snowy landscape. Uh, let me show you what it is. So I chose The Magpie by Claude Monet. This is a gorgeous painting currently housed at the Musée d'Orsay in Paris, France. It was created in 1868 or 1869 and it is one of the largest, I think it's actually considered the largest snowy landscape by Claude Monet. Um, as you can see here, it depicts uh, really the focus is on this tiny bird on the left. There are no human figures, so that particular tiny bird sort of catches the eye and draws you in. But around it are uh, a building, a fence, uh, a path uh, through the gate on which the magpie is sitting on uh, into a foresty um, or tree-lined path or area. Again, beautiful snowscape, lots of incredible lighting and shadowing. Obviously, um, probably one of the nicer paintings um, out there. And I'm going to try my best to build an area inspired by it. Alright, so as you can see here, uh, the space is a good amount of space. What I'm going to try to do is uh, put a little bit of a structure here, kind of like that building you saw. Uh, I'm going to just use some stalls and, uh, you know, kind of cover it up with trees. Uh, I'm going to use the corral fencing for that fencing. Uh, there isn't really a fencing that exactly fits in the game, but that one seemed pretty close. Uh, and uh, we don't have a sole little lag magpie, I'm sorry, a sole little magpie to put there, but we do have a bird cage with a bird, so I'll put uh, my happy little bird, you know, kind of in the back here uh, to pay homage to the magpie in the painting. And uh, I have some other fencing I'm up here, and lots and lots and lots of trees, I'm hoping, and uh, bushes. Uh, the painting kind of hidden, uh, there seemed to be like a buried barrel uh, kind of in front of that fence. So I'll probably put a barrel or two and a few um, sort of rocks here and there just to give it a little bit more of a variety as we walk through uh, my Animal Crossing 3D version of this painting. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do is start with that uh, building first. And I'm going to do that by, uh, you know, using a cliff and covering it up a little bit. Here we go. And I don't think it needs to be too big. Yeah, so this painting, um, so Claude Monet uh, painted it um, outdoors, which was a relatively new technique. Um, a lot of other artists were painting in studios. Um, and he painted this uh, outside of, let's see, one, two, three, four, I think this is big enough. Um, outside of a um, kind of a kind of a place he was staying at with his partner and, and new baby son. Uh, so he uh, was with family and then spent a lot of time outdoors um, painting uh, this relatively innovative or new technique. So uh, what I'm gonna do. Just trying to place some log benches here. I'm kind of improvising. Um, the game doesn't really allow us to um, build a building, but I decided to make these uh, log benches look sort of like like the top of the building. 
Um, not quite a roof. Well, maybe a roof. Here we go. Seems to be a, a theme when it comes to um, artists um, was that it took a while for Monet's work to gain traction, um, in part because it was uh, probably so different from what the more conservative or established um, sort of, uh, I guess, experts in the field. Considered to be quality art. Okay, so uh, these stalls here uh, are customized. Um, oops, uh, to have a, a snowy pattern on the top, uh, and I'll include the uh, the code uh, in the description of this video. Uh, but I quite liked it and. I think you could use it for all sorts of other reasons you might have a stall in the winter. But in this case, I'm just making it you know, kind of like a... Uh, just to give it a sense of that building. Great. Uh, Alright, let's put some trees in. Okay, I'm gonna dig some holes first. There's my shovel. Um, I like to put a tree kind of out here so it kind of blocks this section. So it doesn't quite look like, um, it kind of covers, Actually, I think I can make it a little closer. Yeah, so it kind of hides that section there where so you don't quite see the end of that building as easily. The smaller one here. Have, uh, different sized trees that I like to put uh, to give it more um, since that you know not everything's growing at the same time especially in a natural setting like this all right here comes that corral fencing I do think it's fun how this game modifies the uh, objects in the game so the fence is covered in snow like that. So I'm trying to remember what I was saying, yeah, about how um, Monet May would not have been well recognized in the earlier part of his career. In fact. Uh, Many of his paintings were rejected by the preeminent sort of annual exhibition at the time. Um, so he and other Impressionist painters started their own organization uh, where they could exhibit their works. Um, so this painting, believe it or not, was actually sooner than that. This painting was done in sort of 1868, 1869, and uh, Claude Monet, and um, let me think here, uh, Wenroir, Pissarro, um, they created their own society and exhibited paintings of their own for the first time in 1873. So this painting here was, um, the magpie was actually a little bit sooner than that. I'm thinking, yeah, this is probably pretty good. Let's put our birds somewhere around here. There he is. Actually, can he face forward? Oh, you moved. Why are you moving? Oh, okay. I'll, I'll leave him there for now. Uh, I thought I'd mix it up because uh, that um, painting has two different, like had a, a fence and then actually what seemed to be more like a um, gate. I'll put this back a little bit. There we go. 
Uh, and I don't have a gate, but I have this vertical board fencing. Great. Alright, so people are walking along. And they can go through here. I'll put some trees out here in a minute. I want to put that barrel here, because this is where that barrel was in that painting. Now the barrel in the painting is mostly covered with snow, so you can barely see it there. And this is a little bit more obvious, but I still like the idea of having something there. Great. Well, let's start putting out some trees. Let's line this area. Yeah, that um, exhibition in 1873 where Monet and Renoir and other um, now well-known artists who were not, you know, well accepted at that point. Anyway, when they uh, um, exhibited their own work, uh, one of the works by Monet was called uh, Impressionist, I'm sorry, Impression Sunrise. It's actually that particular work that gave rise to the term Impressionism for that entire art movement. So I thought that was a neat bit of information. Let's see, let's just mix it up. Oh! Mm. Alright, let's go ahead and dig this up again. tend to forget that uh, um, if I'm not in exactly right space. You know, I actually want this moved over a little bit after all. Oops. Because you can't see the tree behind it if I left it in that space. And I have some other types of trees here I can put into. Actually, I think I'll put a smaller one here. Put the bigger one in the back. Great, so I'm mixing this all up, so there are different sizes, and I'm kind of wanting to make it like a path that you can walk through between all the trees. Let's see, we should put some trees out here as well. some extra space back here. Let's have another... S Ooh. Maybe I'll put it in between. That's my last tree. Okay, so I'm walking through kind of the forest. 
chest. Hello. I feel like this covers up my magpie. Let me bring him out a little bit more. Oops. And move this tree over. some shrubs that I got. And I think we should be pretty good. Let's see. Oh. He was gonna force me to dig a hole. This particular painting is um, described as one of the more popular ones in the Musée d'Orsay, uh, and uh, it measures 89 centimeters by 130 centimeters, so it's pretty big. I've never been, but I'd love to visit and see what this is like in real life. I was reading that uh, there's just a different way of looking at color and light and shadow um, than what was um, being done traditionally at the time. And that might be part of the reason that this painting was rejected at first, just that it seemed paler and uh, you know, less vibrant, except if you were to just look at it more closely, you just be struck by the subtlety of the lighting. Okay, I have used up all my greenery, and I think this filled in really nicely. I'm just gonna throw in a few rocks here and there because uh, even though it's not in the painting, I kind of like to include those, um, you know, in these foresty areas. We have done a great job. Uh, we have a snowy landscape, which includes a fence and a hint of a building, uh, really in an area that's snow covered, um, partly domesticated, so speaking, you know, with you know the, the fence and everything, but um, really just nature um, looking beautiful and a tribute to the mad pie, uh, or mad pie, <laughs> with my bird cage. Um, I don't know why I can't seem to get it to face forward. Okay, that's good enough. So I uh, hope you got something uh, useful or interesting out of this. I certainly enjoy getting a chance to record uh, when I uh, do a new build. Uh, and this one, inspired by the magpie, by the famous Claude Monet. Hope you all have a good day. Take care, everyone. <laughs>